should know better. Go after the systems that excuse it, hide it, ignore it. Hello, it's Lauren Southern here with Rebel, and I just got in a huge confrontation with the slut walk, which we are following right now. Essentially, I held a sign that said, we are not living in a rape culture in the West which we are not. It is intellectually dishonest to think that we are living in a rape culture. Rapes do happen, but the major or the minority, the vast minority of men and women are rapists. And when we do find out they're rapists, they go to prison, they are punished. Whereas in the third world countries and other places, men can get away with rape there. And it's insane to focus on this one issue and say that we are living in a rape culture. Rapists don't get high fives. We don't have the government funding rapists. Even men get fired from their jobs just for making rape jokes, not even raping. So to say we live in a rape culture is quite frankly ridiculous. All right, let's go follow the walk. No means no! No means no! No means no! You are attacking our cameraman. Yeah. Dude. Nah, he was the one who touched me first. Excuse me. Oh, come on. So how do you believe your outfit is going to stop perpetuating rape culture? Oh my it's my body, it's my choice. I can wear what I want. And it should this is exemplifying how it's a crime scene. Like wearing the caution tape that they would normally put around a physical crime scene with when it's not re regarding a person, but regarding me, it's regarding people, it's not considered a crime scene. That's f***ed up. It should be. It's a violation of a person's rights. So, is this stopping rapes? Any stats to back up anything that you've said this afternoon? Absolutely. You said that rapists go to jail. Can you give me a stat to back that up based on the number of rapes that are reported? the number of rapes that get taken to the cops, the number of rapes that get prosecuted. Could you give me some stats to back up your pseudo-reporting here? Well, first of all, uh, out of the amount of rapes that happen, out of 100,000 people, 1.7 uh, of Canadians actually even just, that's just reporting rapes. So Yeah, you know that less than 10% of rapes are actually reported. Okay, where's that? To the cops. From? Where's that? It's from all of the women's organizations. You can look it up online. You can find it through the socialized organizations that study rape. I participate with an organization that works as a rape crisis center. We base that on the number of calls. The police know based on the unofficial reports, the third party reporting, and the direct reports. This is not a secret that about 10% of rapes are reported. So, how do you know 10% of rapes are reported if the others aren't? Because those people call the women's centers, they ask for help, they seek medical attention. So they are reported. Do you actually think we live in a rape culture? Um, unfortunately, I think so. I was actually just chatting with my friend about um, even you know the uh, viral craze going on where people come up to reporters such as yourself and are saying that awful phrase in the, to the live cameras that's F her right in the P and that kind of language that is considered funny is something that you know it, it might seem like an innocent thing at the time but it's just an example of how uh, the language we use is absolutely involved with rape culture or if somebody does poorly on a test they're like oh I got raped by that test and it's like why are you talking that way? Do you actually think we live in a rape culture though? Because I'd say for the most part we demonize rapists, we send them to prison, guys who make rape jokes lose their job. I, I think we're making great strides in doing that, but uh, at the same time there are girls and guys who believe that it's yeah. just kind of like you kind of force each other on or, or like if it's okay for someone to uh, take advantage of you or just assume that they can just come against you because you're so used to that that way of life. Get used to it. My short skirt is happiness. I was just curious as to what her sign, her sign meant. That's all. If you want to know what my sign means, my sign means that this is not a rape culture because rapists go to prison here. Rapists are actually hated here. Rapists are fired from their jobs. Men who make rape jokes are fired from their jobs. Go to Africa and you will see a real rape culture. Yeah. Who's talking about it? The whole point of the walk is to protest rape culture. There's a group of women that were here and they're wishing to withdraw consent to use the footage that you had, I guess, gotten. So. Can you please make sure that is done and make sure that any of the stuff that they have... We may or we may not use the footage. It is a public area, so we do have legal rights to use the footage. But you, like, interviewed them specifically, right? So, like... Yes, and they gave us consent to interview them. Well, now they're withdrawing it, so... That's not how it works, but... Which is interesting, given the event that you're at, right? Like, that's a little bit contradictory. I mean, it's a little bit contradictory. Well, if you're I totally say it, that's not how it works. 
Well, you can't just withdraw consent the next, like... Well, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Why is that interesting? It's just, like, I don't know. No, 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 tell, tell me, tell me like, about... Like a rally for, like, like rapists, uh, like, you know, well, consent and, like, withdrawing consent, saying, like, no means no. They're saying no, and you're saying that, like... Okay, so if someone gives consent the night before, and then they have... No, 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 listen. If they have sex with a man and they give consent to him, then the next day decide, oh, I regret it. I'm going to report him for being a rapist, even though I gave him consent. You're saying that's okay? So you're, you're sounding a little bit like a 12-year-old because this is irrelevant. All right, we finally made it back here to the Vancouver Art Gallery after following around the slut walk. Our cameraman got shoved and pushed, our, my sign was ripped up, and I got a few mi middle fingers and got called a bitch. And overall, it was an interesting experience. We definitely support the cause of ending rape here in Canada. However, I believe this has been fear-mongering to say we live in a rape culture, seeing as the majority of people hate rape and rapists do go to prison here in Canada. Thank God. Anyways, this has been Lauren Southern with the Rebel Media. All right. Lauren Southern is a contributor to the Rebel.media from Vancouver, BC. She's a second year student studying political science at the University of Fraser Valley. Is well known for being very opinionated and vocal. Yeah, real going to college is go to college, but do your own media while you're at it or do your own political events or whatever it is. You know, go apprentice somewhere in your industry or you're going to get nothing out of college. And she's got a very popular uh, YouTube channel, and she's been featured all over global TV, CBC radio, uh, and so much more. And now she joins us. I want to play this video first, or part of it, uh, where she goes out and tries to talk to the slut walk. That's their name for it, not ours. Uh, the feminist, and they just freak out on her. We had to bleep some of the profanity. You've seen the feminist, third-wave feminist here, running around screaming, I stink, I have arm hair, I love Satan, I kill my babies. In fact, maybe cue those up. That's quite a claim without playing it. Uh, it's like the news saying Mercury's good for your baby. I mean, I don't like to say that CBS News said that without playing the clip. They really did. Uh, it just shows this inverted reality. But, but anybody can go out and do this. You need to become a reporter now to expose this craziness. You need to become a blogger now. All of you, start a local newsletter. Uh, hand out cards with InfoWars on it. Uh, call into talk radio. Go to the state house. By the way, what's the latest on TPP, guys? I know we're tracking that. The Senate's set to try to pass it today. Uh, that's going to come up in the next hour. Lauren Southern uh, reporting from Vancouver, British Columbia. And I know you get into it with them, but, I mean, what about cultures like in areas of Africa or areas of the Middle East where women are literally prisoners and they're being executed for no reason? I never hear Gloria Steinem talk about that. The West is where women developed uh, their rights. The West has been the best, to quote Jim Morrison. I mean, I just don't get this hatred of the West, this f and, and this foaming at the mouth. Uh, and, and then feminists, I know at major universities now teach all sex is rape. I know there's also a big uh, kind of a pickup deal that butch lesbians use. I'm not attacking them, but it's, you know, basically, you know, saying that men want to rape them. I, I, I really think it's this whole anti- uh, human thing. I mean, targeting men. Uh, tell us what you witnessed there and your view on all this and what spurred you to go out and shoot this report. Well, speaking of whether it is a hatred of the West or whether they think it's an actual issue, I honestly think that a lot of the whole slut walk is about making individuals and women here look like victims and they want women here in the west look like victims they want it to be an attention thing you can tell by how they dress at the slut walk calling it the slut walk um they don't want to focus on the real issues there they want to focus on issues that affect them and will make gain them attention is how i see it um because if you're talking about rape cultures in other countries where women are legitimately stoned for the crime of being raped, suddenly it uh, it makes it seem like, oh, hey, it actually isn't that bad here in Canada. Women actually don't have it that bad here. But the feminist narrative is they want it to look like all women are still extremely oppressed so that they can get all of these um, entitlements and privileges just for the sake of being a victim. 
So sure, that's, that's uh, the new thing. It's a new form of royalty. If you're a protected group and a victim, then you basically are now the new nobility. Exactly. And you will, no one can question you. You look at what I did. I, the only reason I could question this group is because I was a woman. I do think that if a man had gone and spoke his mind, used his freedom of speech, uh, held up a sign, he may have been arrested. Uh, he probably would have lost his job. He probably uh, would have gotten 10 times the flack that I did. But because I'm a woman and I went and questioned it, that's why feminists hate me so much is because they have a hard time uh, complaining about me expressing my opinion as a woman. The only thing they can really say to me is internalized misogyny, which is just insane. Uh, the, the fact that I would hate women is just ridiculous. I am one. <laughs> um, but that's a big reason why I wanted to go to the slut walk. One, because I think that it is exaggerating and fear mongering and it has an agenda to do that, to keep the feminist narrative going. And the other one is, I think that it really doesn't represent women who were victims of brutal rapes that didn't do anything that could uh, that, put, that took every precaution possible. This kind of says uh, all women who are raped kind of, I, I don't know, it, represent, it doesn't represent a certain group of women who have been assaulted or raped that took all the precautions necessary. And that's not victim blaming to say that women should take precautions in some cases. I don't think it's anyone's fault if they do get a little drunk or dress inappropriately and get raped. It's absolutely the rapist's fault. But... I don't think the slut walk should be speaking out against taking sure. I think uh, they should be encouraging it. Well, sure. When we come back, I want to get into the, there's so many cases of this, of, in this liberalism culture of victimization where most of the black churches that get attacked, people do it themselves or most of the Jewish centers that have swastikas put on them. It turns out it was an inside job, the dormitories. We see that in the news all the time. Uh, but a lot, the false reporting of rape too. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like this new weapon that's thrown out there, but but my big issue is, I don't know why we can't get any of the leftists or any of the feminists concerned about the Middle East that yeah. I just keep bringing up where where in, in places like Saudi Arabia, I mean, women have less rights than a dog and you just can't get them to talk about it. I don't know what these modern feminists are because they like, they run around and go, I stink, I have arm hair, I love Satan, I, I love to kill babies uh, and uh, you shouldn't have any free speech that hurts my feelings. And then they just repeat the same line, misogynistic, and they'll attack your signs, and they'll call you racist. It's like they're really stupid people. I wouldn't call them liberals. I'd call them more like some kind of cult. But let's play a clip from uh, Lauren Southern's piece where she uh, gets in this argument with these people at the slut walk. They do these all over the world where they say, we're allowed to flaunt our bodies. Well, I mean, you see women flaunt their bodies everywhere. Nobody's doing anything to them. I mean, it's, it's, it's just bizarre. But let's... Let's play this clip where they then, they're in public saying you can't videotape us and we don't give consent. Well, there's no consent in public if you're news gathering. If you wanted to take video of them in a public place and make them your mascot, then it would be copyright because you're using them to sell something. But not when it's news gathering. First Amendment, which they also have in Canada, it's called free speech. Uh, I know the news rules all over the Western world. They're all the same. Let's go ahead and go to that clip. There's a group of women that were here and they're wishing to withdraw consent to use the footage that you had, I guess, gotten. So can you please make sure that is done and make sure that any of the stuff that they have... We may or we may not use the footage. It is a public area, so we do have legal rights to use the footage. But you, like, interviewed them specifically, right? So, like... Yes, and they gave us consent to interview them. Well, now they're withdrawing it, so... That's not how it works, but... Which is interesting given the event that you're at, right? Like, that's a little bit contradictory. I mean, it's a little bit contradictory. Oh, well, I totally say it. That's not how it works. <laughs> well, you can't just withdraw consent the next, like... Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Why is that interesting? interesting. Yeah, I, that right? No, no, no. Tell, like, tell me, like, tell me. Right? Like, a rally for, like, uh, like rapists? Uh, like, you know, consent and, like, withdrawing consent, saying, like, no means no. They're saying no, and you're now. saying that, like... Okay, so if someone gives consent the night before, and then they have... No, 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 listen. If they have sex with a man and they give consent to him, then the next day decide, oh, I regret it. I'm going to report him for being a rapist, even though I gave him consent. You're saying that's okay? So you're, you're sounding a little bit like a 12-year-old because this is irrelevant. All right, we finally made it back. Oh, there you go. So she won the debate every time. Lauren Southern's amazing, really smart, can think on her feet better than I can. But I, I can't believe she starts laughing, basically saying, you're a rapist. 
They're they're in a public place. She's news gathering, and now she's a rapist. We're going to break in one minute. Five more minutes with our guest coming up. But Lauren Southern, I mean, these people are amazing. You know what's uh, hilarious about it is if you look at uh, halfway through that little clip you showed, a girl walks into the background with a sign that has a middle finger on it, and it's a big bright yellow sign. That's one of the girls in the interview that they're asking to not be shown, and they are walking in front of my camera. So they're actually raping your free speech more than your quote raping them. I mean, but, but everybody's a rapist. I mean, we know that. We'll be back in 70 seconds. Lauren Southern, the rebel.media from Canada. All right, I've been ranting a lot. Lauren Southern, the rebel.media, is a political science student up in Canada. She's got a great YouTube channel. Tell us more about your media operation and then spend a few minutes uh, making other points. But that's just incredible that they come up and basically say you're raping them by videotaping them in public. I mean, there's just no end to these people. The biggest issue I have with them comparing my videotaping to rape is that they are trivializing what rape is. And I think that's what this all is about. Them saying that a guy whistling at them here in Canada or America is rape is trivializing and co-opting the word rape to serve a certain exaggerated purpose. They are taking words like sexism, rape, misogyny, uh, even racism and all these things and using them incorrectly to exaggerate situations, to portray a certain narrative of the West is sexist, the West is racist, the West is, are a bunch of misogynist rapists. When you look at the actual definitions of these words and you say, no, whistling at someone isn't rape, no, not hiring a woman over a man at a job because she had worse qualifications isn't sexism, um, not being friends with a person of a different race because you don't like their personality isn't racism, um, there are so many words that this group is co-opting and rape is one of them that I think is very, very serious. And it's very serious to trivialize because that, that totally is wrong against the people who have actually lived in rape cultures and aren't supported by their government. Where if, here, if I say I was raped, I know I would have support. I know I could go to a woman's center. I know the police would investigate it. It's just so intellectually dishonest in my opinion. Well, no doubt things aren't perfect, and some racists uh, do get away with what they're doing, but mm -hmm. this whole push to promote it is about saying that basically anyone that doesn't submit to socialist, uh -huh. communist, pro-abortion women uh, is a rapist. And they really illustrate there that it's a rape culture that they project onto people uh, that aren't engaged in it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> they they even posted in their Facebook group that uh, they were asking, can we use Lauren Southern holding up her sign as an example of rape culture? So my questioning them, just, just trying to get in a debate with them, is supposedly an example of rape culture. That's right. You submit to them and that they have all knowledge and are the great oracles or you are a rapist. The other thing they'll do is they will try to portray people who question them as evil, offensive, and triggering. I got multiple letters that were sent to me, as well as friends of mine, as well as people who worked with me, saying that they these individuals were tr so triggered they vomited all night because of my sign. I, I actually got a message that said that. A girl said she vomited all night because she was so triggered that I disagreed with them. And they tried to lie about me get me, um, take it, get positions that I was in taken away. They tried to message my friends and tell them that I was, uh, screaming over rape survivors and telling them the rapes didn't happen, which did not happen. So these people were trying to demonize me because I had a different opinion and they didn't want to address my arguments or address what I was saying, but instead they want to attack the source and not the what, what the source is saying, not the actual argument. And that's what's happening with a lot of these rallies or these radical uh, radical rallies, whether it's abortion, uh, feminist rallies, anything, is they don't want to hear an argument. They just want to hear their own views repeated back at them. And that's very dangerous. Every group should have their views questioned and deconstruct their oh, views. Oh, yeah, question me, opinion. you're a rapist. Question me, you're a, you're a terrorist. Question me, you're a, yeah. a racist. Well, you Amazing. I didn't even know it was that bad. You should write an article about it. We'll post it at Infowars.com. 
Laura Southern, other reports, please send them to us. And I want to get you back on the nightly news sometime next week to really brief David Knight or Jakari Jackson or Leanne McAdoo and go over all of this because it's worse than I knew that they then tried to persecute you. Simply amazing. <laughs>